Saturday, June 19th. Let's play the Booster Box game, Modern Horizons 2 Edition, but this time there's a twist. As always, I am going to open up this Booster Box of Modern Horizons 2 and see if I can get $275 in rares, mythics, a couple uncommons worth above two bucks, and foils. If I can, I will sell those cards and go down to my local game store, not Amazon and use that money to buy another box. I will continue doing this until I open a box that does not have $275 in value. Will I open just one box or perhaps more? Well, let's find out, but first, I said there was a catch. I hope you'll allow me to be a little self-indulgent with this booster box game. You see, there is not one but two cards in this set that I really, really want. Rashad and Doc Hand, and Zvilem of Sea and Sky. I very much want these cards for my very favorite decks of Legacy and Modern Merfolk, and I very much want them in the retro frame. Now, normally the way this works is whatever I open within a booster box that is worth above $2 each in the rare mythic foil or uncommon category when there are some uncommons that are worth above two bucks each, I sell on online marketplaces immediately in order to get the money for the next box. So nothing here is for my personal collection and it pretty much all gets sold except the leftovers at the end, but, for this booster box game, since I want those cards so very badly and I am going to play with them, I will buy them and only them from myself. So if I open up that God of Sea and Sky in the retro frame, must be in the retro frame, or a Rashad and Doc Hand in the retro frame, then those will be sold from me to me for the current lowest market price, which is how I sell everything else. I need a playset of each for both modern and theoretically a playset of each for legacy. I'll be happy with just one playset of each. Will I get through enough boxes to get a playset of each of these two very, very special cards? But again, only in the retro frame? Well, let's open up the boxes and let's find out.
All right, I cleared that box. Now I could just sell those rares and mythics, keep the contents, and it would be like I didn't pay for them at all. But where's the fun in that? It's the booster box game. On to box number two. I have sold those cards and gone down to my local game store and bought another box. Will there be a third?
I got my retro frame dock hand. I got a retro frame dock hand. So in the interest of full disclosure, this one card is not being sold by me on online marketplaces. I am buying it from myself for the price I would have sold it on the online marketplace for. Now I just need three more. Gotta be retro frame. And also four of the retro frame Scott of Sea and Sky. We can get there, right? Right?
So that was a box. Uh, wow. Okay, so I just turned on the camera now. Uh, it's Tuesday. And I've made it to the next box. But even making it to the next box, I'm able to just keep these. I didn't even need these to make it to the next box. I sold what I needed for the next box and these as well as a lot more is left over. I feel like this was like bank error in my favor and I feel a little weird about it. So I'm gonna do like universe karma stuff, which I don't believe in. And I'm just going to send these out to patrons at the signed card level. So uh, just uh, cards go out to patrons this month, and I'm just gonna drop these into two. I'm not gonna sign them because that decreases the value. I'm gonna put them in a top loader, and in addition to the signed card for this month, uh, two people, I'm just gonna drop them in as a special karma, which I don't believe in, gift. I believe in the, I, the spirit of it, but not the science of it, because that's not science. So the signed card for the month of June is going to be a Nevin Nero's disc, also known as Larry Niven's disc. And if you'd like to join and support me at the signed card level, I will send you one signed Nevin Nero's disc, signed by me and sent to you as a way of saying thanks. And you also get to enjoy all the other lovely Patreon perks, which include our exclusive Tolarian Community College Discord server, which actually patrons of any level can enjoy so even if you can't afford to support at the signed card level and you just have a dollar or two a month, I really hope you'll check out our exclusive Discord. All this information can be found at patreon.com forward slash Tolarian Community College. And now on to the next box.
got one, I got one, I got one! But I'm starting to worry I'm not gonna make it to the full play set of this or the dock hands. It's almost like if there are specific cards that you want for decks you wanna play, that cracking through packs is not the best way to get them. Keep in mind, I could've gotten a play set of both of those cards for less than the price of one box. I feel there's a saying about that, I, I don't know what. Anyway, on to the next.
So also in the interest of full disclosure, I am seeing some Modern Horizons boxes going for less than 275 each on some online marketplaces. My local stores are still selling as of the date of this video for around 275 and I'm gonna keep it there because I need to buy a box each day. And so I don't have time to wait to order something from an online seller. And so I'm supporting that local game store, supporting my community, but the number I need to hit is 275.
Well, I didn't get my play sets, but I got one of each, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of kind of dismissive comments lately where whenever I post pretty much any video, someone just makes a comment and they go, oh, let me guess, buy singles, there. I saved you 15, or in this video's case, an hour, minutes, no, wait, yes. But I really wanna kind of address that because first of all, that isn't the only thing I say. Yeah, I know that buy singles has become a bit of the channel's catchphrase at this point, but it's more the idea behind it, that you should have control over your money to get the most efficient use of it. Now, is it fun to crack open packs of Magic the Gathering? Absolutely. And if you just want to buy packs and crack them open, I'm never upset about that or frowning. Are you having fun? Are you spending your money that you can safely spend and not going into debt or something? Then great, that's fantastic. I just want people to have fun. But if you take the example of me wanting those merfolk cards, look at how many boxes I opened. And I got one of each of the ones I wanted. And I think that even if you don't play Merfolk, which is probably pretty likely, you can apply that to the cards you are interested in, even some of the more high-end ones. Another thing that I don't think a lot of people mention is when they look at things like the EV of boxes, and we saw this a lot with those $100 VIP packs where, oh wow, there's, there's great value in them if you buy a lot of them. Remember, that first box, could have easily been what I opened just now, last. And that would have been the end of this Booster Box game. And that happened to me with uh, Modern Masters 2017. I went through half a dozen boxes of that set. It was an incredible value-packed set. And then, just for fun, I grabbed another one, and I didn't even make it to box number two. Same set, same basic time frame. Prices were still what they were. And it's all just a game. It's the booster box game. It's not meant to really prove anything. It's meant to have some fun, but it is maybe meant to make you think a little bit about what best meets your needs for you as a player collector, just looking for some entertainment. And I really hope you don't walk away from this video thinking, wow, it's just free money in those Modern Horizons 2 packs. No, there's great value there. I said that in my review. I gave this set an A. Is it worth it to buy? Well, in certain circumstances, yeah, absolutely. There is value to be had. But also think about all the packs that had 50 cents worth of rares in it. Pack after pack within most all of these boxes. Ah, it's a 50 cent rare. Ah, it's a 29 cent rare. None of the high-end uncommons. If you're at your local game store and just trying to grab one across the counter, maybe spend that money on the cards you're hoping to pull instead. These packs should be drafted. If you have not yet experienced a Modern Horizons 2 draft and your local game store is able to safely reopen, oh, that is an experience. It's so much fun. But at the end of the day, if you are looking for specific cards for Commander, for Modern, especially for Popper, then you might want to spend that money instead on singles. And I want to leave you with one thought, or perhaps a question to ask when you do safely re-enter your local game store. Ask your local game store's owner, and I mean this, by the way, every store is different. Every store has its own economy and area that it's in, but ask them, hey, if I were to spend, let's say, $500 at your store on booster boxes, or $500 on singles out of your singles folder, which one would be better for the store? Which one would you profit off of more? Would you be more thrilled if I did? So I've got 500 bucks burning a hole in my pocket. I'm gonna either just buy singles out of your singles folder, or I'm gonna buy sealed booster boxes. Which would you prefer? And I'm willing to bet that the majority of the stores out there would say, oh wow, the singles buy a lot. And every store is different. Of course, every store is completely different, but from what I've heard speaking to store owners, the singles really do carry them. Another comment I get is people saying, oh, you're trying to destroy local game stores by saying buy singles. Uh, no, uh, those singles carry most local game stores very, very far. Oh, they're just gonna go on to, to, to eBay and TCG Player and buy singles there. The vast majority of those online marketplaces, the sellers are game stores that put their inventories 
up on there. I mean, look at who you're buying from. In many cases, it's a mom and pop shop from somewhere else in the country. So those are some things to think about, and I hope you had a lot of fun. If you do want to join at the signed card level on my Patreon, then I will send out a signed Nevin Nero's disc for the month of June, and I'm dropping those two retro frames just for the good vibes inside of two random envelopes, and you're also helping the channel out when you do. But even if you can't afford that, just hopping over to Patreon and maybe a dollar or two a month, it helps keep the cameras going, it helps keeps the light on. And so if you feel this channel is worth it, well, we're growing and going strong thanks to all of you. So thank you.